My name is Ayla, and Becca and Friha and I are going to tell you about the project we've been working on called Overcoming Prospective Memory Declines in Older Adulthood. Previous research in cognitive psychology has shown that memory declines with age, specifically prospective memory or the memory of future intentions. This decline makes it increasingly difficult for older adults to complete their daily tasks, such as taking their medications, which could be detrimental to their health. We aimed to mitigate this decline in healthy older adults with an online strategy program over the course of six weeks. We hypothesized that a prospective memory performance would be greater for healthy adults that underwent the strategy training program compared to adults that did not. We had a total of 15 healthy adults, age 55 and older, complete the six-week online study. They were randomly assigned to the experimental or control group, where they completed the same pre- and post-test. During the pre- and post-test, participants completed two sets of prospective memory tasks, one standard lab assessment and one semi-naturalistic assessment. The standard lab task involves making judgments in an ongoing task, and the prospective memory task is to make a separate response at a certain time or when a certain item appears. The semi-naturalistic assessment looks like a board game and takes participants through pretend daily life tasks, including remembering to take medications at certain times. During the four-week training program, the experimental group watched videos on how to improve prospective memory, completed two computerized and naturalistic tasks to practice maintain such strategies, then took quizzes over the information. The control group took daily quizzes over an audiobook. We are looking for the difference in change in scores from pre-test to post-test between the groups. After the post-test, participants also took a survey about their memory and strategy use. In the figure on the top right, we plotted the prospective memory task response accuracy for the experimental group and the control group at pre-test and post-test. Both groups showed some improvement after the training program, a normal practice effect, but experimental participants critically appeared to improve more on average than the control participants, showing an effect of our training program. The experimental group also reported using a greater number of new memory strategies after the program. The figure on the bottom left shows the number of memory strategies that participants reported using. The experimental group reported using more new strategies and a greater number of strategies within the last week compared to the control group. Finally, the figure on the bottom right shows the participants' self-reported ratings for prospective memory improvement and confidence after the program. The experimental participants rated their confidence in improvement as slightly greater on average than control participants. These results suggest that the training program improves memory strategy use, prospective memory task performance, and subjective ratings of one's own memory ability. Even though prospective memory will keep declining with age, our study shows promising evidence that strategy training could help overcome these declines. It helps strengthen, improve, and maintain one's memory so they can overcome declines in their later adulthood. The significance of this research interest is that prospective memory affects all people, especially older adults, and finding ways to overcome or gain better control of their prospective memory is finding strategies and training in them so they learn how to apply them in their daily lives. In the future, we would like to see if this strategy training program can help with prospective memory in older adults diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment, declines beyond those due to normal aging. We would also like to look at whether this training program affects all types of prospective memory or only certain ones. Better prospective memory helps ensure appointments are kept and medications are taken. By implementing this training program on a broader scale, we may be able to help older adults maintain their daily lives better.